What is going on YouTube? Black Bugatti with another Tuesday Q&A. What is Tuesday Q&A, might you ask? Well, you send me your questions to tacobellcriminal at gmail.com and I answer them on my video. Easy enough, eh? Let's get into this shit, shall we? First question from Daniel Marquez. What's going on? Well, what's the question? Love the vids, man. Keep it up. My question is, if you had the option to live on Mars and start a colony and can take over whoever and how many people you wanted with you, would you go and who would you take with you? Uh, no, I want to stay on Earth. Thank you for the question. That wasn't a very good question. I know you were, I know you were trying to be a little bit more creative, but uh, it went down in a, a ball of flames. Uh, try again next time, Mr. Marquez. Go to Mars. The fuck is he talking about? Hey, you want to go to Mars? Do better. Next question from Ryan Murphy. Do you watch D Sigs, another YouTuber? And also, if you're willing to go to the UK, you should check out Hiding in My Room channel if you like depressing stuff. And Sunbook is also hot on YouTube. Stay safe and lose weight. Lose weight. It's, you, put, you spelled it. There's only one O in lose. Um, I don't watch none of those YouTubers. They all suck. Only watch me. Thank you for the question. Uh, mm -hmm. Next question from uh, Jordan3434. Uh, where can I find the porno you posted on xnxx.com? What's the title of the video? Let us know. Uh, I have not uploaded it yet. I have to get back to Las Vegas and then put it up. Why would you want to watch a porno of me all fat with a little dick banging some fat chick? What's wrong with you? You guys are sick. Okay. Got some sick fucks in this crap. Uh, next question from uh, Kelly Smith. Hey, Bigelow. My friend and I are big fans of you. We are curious as to why you dislike weed so much. Um, I think weed takes away uh, a lot of ambition and goals with people. I just it, it just makes you lazy. And I'm already fat as, as it is. If I smoked weed, I'd even be more fatter. I find people that smoke weed tend to be boring most of the time, if not all of the time. Just my personal opinion. I'm being very judgmental, uh, but, you know, I don't give a shit. So uh, that's why I don't like weed. Um, I remember that email. Oh, yeah. Next question from Mangoes. Hey, Blacksmith, have you ever had sex with a 43-year-old autistic Mexican bitch with a flat ass? If so, did you ever shit in her mouth at the same time you came? I'm asking this question for my wife because she gets turned on by you, and we were wondering if you were down for a threesome, if you're ever in Iowa. <laughs> Next question from One-Eyed Willie. I really hope you keep the Tuesday Q&A. Some are serious. Some are really funny. Uh, that one, the other one was not. How you, re how you read them and answer, I have to get one serious question in. Have you ever got drunk and scratched your nuts till they bled? I have. I had jock itch and it was driving me crazy. In a drunken rage, I said, yeah, I got something for you, itchy motherfuckers. I pulled the skin tight at the itchy spot and took my comb and scratched it like a little whore that ain't bathed in a month. I drew blood. Not much, but they stopped it itching. Really going to miss the questions. It's questions like yours is why this Tuesday Q&A is going away. Uh, thank you. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, to all the SoundCloud rappers that emailed me your submissions, I will get to the video, I promise. Uh, I don't know when. Hopefully this week. Uh, next question from David Kennedy. Uh, just watched your video gluing a couple of pics on a tombstone. As crazy and angry as you can be, you have a good heart. My question is a two-parter. As much as you travel, and I know you're putting down some miles as I am a trucker, how do you stay safe in this pandemic? Uh, it's not about saying safe. I, I don't give a fuck. I'm not a pussy. If I get sick, I get sick. I don't give a shit. Number two, like to send you a buck or two to help. I look for a video every day. Don't understand why you stuck at 77,000. Find you entertaining. You're helping me to get through this. I want to help you. Be safe, my friend. Um, uh, you know... I, I am going to start uh, putting my PayPal link out there or whatever. So um, I'll put it at the, I'll put it at the link of this video. As a matter of fact, all my videos from now on, it'll have my PayPal link. If someone wants to send me five bucks for a beer, two bucks for a beer, 50 cents for a beer, it's all good. I don't care. Thank you very much um, for the question. And at the end of the day, 
I'm not going to live my life being a fucking pussy, wearing gloves and a mask. You know, if you have, if you live with old people and you don't want to get them sick, that's fine. Me, I ain't doing that shit. If I get sick, I get sick. Fuck it. Uh, let's see the next question from, uh, next question from Looney Cesarwinski. Hello, Black Bugatti. By any chance, are you a secret love child of Barack Obama? P.S. Lamont for president. Yo, daddy, a Democrat. Hashtag. Um, secret love child of Barack Obama. Um, yeah, no, I can't. Uh, see, are you even cute? I really can't tell. I think you are. You have nice lips. Uh, holler at me, Looney. Uh, next question, um, from, uh, somebody with a phone number. Uh, when you do your Q&A, do you ever feel like the president at a press conference? Would you declare war on China? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I, I just feel like I'm the orchestrator of this circus society show that I call the Q&A. And would I declare war on China? No, not really. Um, but they do need to be punished. Uh, I would just kind of limit trade with them at the end of the day. Uh, they are not our friends. Thank you for the question. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm really behind on quite Well, not really. Uh, next question from Rami Mahmood. Uh, what's up, bro? If the laws of society aren't enforced anymore and all hell breaks loose, what would be on your bucket list? Also, I'd like to give a shout out to my certified cronies in Toronto and a punk ass nigga named Shams. Thanks. What's up, you fucking punk ass nigga? Uh, what would be on my bucket list? Nah, probably prostitution. I've never picked up a prostitute ever in my life, but I really want to. I just don't want to catch any VDs. And I don't want to pay for it. So if you guys want to pay for me to get a prostitute, PayPal will be in the description box below. Thank you. Uh, let's see. We're making pretty good time here. Uh, next question from Deontay Sims. Uh, hey, BB. Want to know if you ever tried Ligma? Lick my nuts. <laughs> next question from Bryce Sneeder. It's probably Snyder. Hey, Black Bugatti, big fan of your videos. Do you listen to heavy metal? If so, what are some of your favorite bands? And will you change your name Black to Black, back to Black Bigot? Uh, no, no Black Bigot. Um, I'm still figuring that out. Uh, heavy metal, depending on what you think heavy metal is. Uh, heavy metal could be very subjective. Uh, to me, heavy metal would be like Spine Shank, um, Static X, um, stuff like that. But uh, when you really think about heavy metal, like Judas Priest and shit like that, nah, nah I'm not into that shit. I just like rock and roll, that's it. Uh, next question from Brandon B. I'm a fan and hope you are well. Thank you, I am. My question is, what is the scary situation you have encountered on your trek back and forth across the USA? Uh, stay safe, BB, which is also my initials. Yeah, very good. Uh, scary situation traveling across the country in my van. Um, nothing really. Nothing's ever happened. Um, you know, some, some black kids in New Jersey tried to steal my bicycle. That was about it. Other than that, everything's been pretty chill. Uh, luckily, luckily for me. Uh, next question from uh, Aussie Wolfhound. Uh, hey, Black Bigotti, big fan of you, mostly because you're not afraid to speak your mind and because you hate lip tarts with a vengeance. I fucking do. I fucking do. Uh, just, well, just that alone makes you a friend in my book. Well, thank you, my friend. Uh, just wondering what your thoughts on Joe Exotic are and do you think he should get a presidential pardon? Also, you said in a stream not long ago you're going to get a Trump tattoo after he wins. Would you be up for doing a joint live stream where we both get a Trump tattoo at the same time? I think that would be a cool AF. Uh, I don't know how, uh, I guess you're from Australia. I don't know how that would work, but yeah, no, if, if Trump wins, uh, I am going to get a Donald Trump tattoo. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to get it, but uh, stay tuned. And uh, Joe Exotic, uh, I say why not? Uh, I'm sure the person that he wanted to kill deserved to die anyways. Wasn't that that one bitch that killed her husband? Uh, let him go. Come on. Come on, Mr. Trump, let him go. Free Joe Exotic. Hashtag free Joe Exotic. Um, let me see. Next question from Ryan. Uh, hey, Black Bigot, love your videos. You are real as they get. I am. I am real. I'm a real person, guys. Look at me. I look really cute right now. I don't know why. It's probably just like the lights that are making my skin glow. The bags under my eyes are not that visible. Yeah, very good. All I got to do is get this fucking spare tire. I call a stomach off of me. So anyways, uh, I'm going to ask you three real questions. And these are serious, real questions, bro. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this guy has the real questions, right? Everybody else is talking about fucking twin and all this fucking dad. And 
Uh, but you got real questions, right? Oh, okay. All right, let's. All right, all right. Let's get into these fucking real questions. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I can't wait for this shit, guys. Huh? Real questions. I wonder what it's gonna be. Probably some fucking stupid ass shit. I don't even want to read this shit. I want to fucking delete it. Uh, did you ever have to shit in the van? And did you either use a bucket or just go outside? Um. Yeah, it was a pretty bad situation right there, kid. I'd rather not go into it. Didn't I answer that last Tuesday Q&A? <laughs> uh, the answer is yes. Uh, did you ever have sex with a woman in the van? Not this van, but I've had sex uh, in a van. Technically, I've had sex in a van, believe it or not, one time ever. That's it. And that was actually the same chick that I'm banging in the video that I'm going to be uploading on XNXX. I had a good time with her, but she turned out to be a stupid, crazy uh, method. What's up with all these fucking methods? Fucking. And uh, anyways, um, last but not least, have you ever thought about driving up to Alaska and exploring the state? That would be cool if you did. Thank you so much for your consideration. Brian from Jersey. Uh, Alaska? Yeah, sure. I mean, I've thought about it, but there's no fucking way in hell I'd ever be interested in really and honestly going up there. Uh, thank you for your questions. Uh, let's see. Next question uh, from... Uh, blah, 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 Diego Chavez. Hey, biggest Diego, a.k.a. Mr. Chavez. Why well, just said your name, dude? One of your OG subscribers. Uh, yes, you are. I remember you quite well, my friend. Uh, hope you're doing well during this quarantine, my man. If I'm not, I'm not sure if this email of yours is still active, but I would love to finally chat with you on my IG live. I got so much to talk about, and I'm pretty well spoken. Point being, it'd be an honor to have you on as we could talk about when I pitched that on-the-go podcast idea to you and how we had a plans on meeting up in vegas a while back and of course having me bring you an edmonton oilers jersey all in all just making sure you're all all right down there compadre cheers yeah no you your podcast idea is fucking great i actually made i changed the name of one of my channels to the podcast the only problem is i just don't have time for it man no it's an excellent idea um if anybody that was homeless on the street i was thinking just the other day if there was like a homeless guy that just had a podcast and he was like literally homeless that that would be so fucking awesome you know, maybe one day, man, I know there's different platforms on how you can upload, like, podcasts and shit, but maybe I'll get into that later. I just don't have fucking time, but it was an excellent idea. Um, IG Live, um, I don't know, email me. I'm not sure, like, how what, how would we do IG Live, but uh, send me an email with your shit. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chavez. Uh, next question. Uh, let's see. We're making pretty good time. Okay, very good. Uh, Sam Freeman. Uh, question is, have you ever thought about settling down in a cheap state such as Florida and working there so you can have a home or are you a traveler at heart? I'm a traveler at heart and if I did settle down, sure the fuck wouldn't be Florida. I fucking do not like that state. Uh, number two, why does the liberal media try so hard to make Trump look bad? For example, liberal media Trump wants to force the country to reopen coronavirus or no corona putting lives at risk. What Trump actually says, I have been working closely with the governors and we want to reopen the country as soon as we can depending on what states are better than other states, will take some time to reopen. Well, who the hell are you? Are you, what, do you work for Trump? I don't know why the media makes Trump look bad, because they're sex of shit and they all need to die. I say fucking off, hey, guillotine time, off with their fucking heads. Uh, what is the final solution to the Liptar problem? Well, I just explained, off with their heads. Uh, Trump 2020 and beyond and Gatsby from Tom Lincoln. What's up, Tom? How we doing, brother? Um... There, there is no, there is no cure for li for liberalism. It's really, really sad, and um, they just need to fucking, just I don't know, maybe just fucking send them all to fucking France. Uh, nobody cares about France. Uh, next question from uh, Mister Sue. Oh, this is a long one, guys. Um, is this a question, or you just want to? Um This is a really, really long question. Uh, I've written you before. I hope you remember my name. I'm the guy who hates Trump. He don't care about the middle class or poor people. That's why I think you're a pussy for supporting him. He is a list of uh, blah, blah, blah. Ah, fucking dude, I don't care. Man, I, I, I read two, 10 seconds of your fucking shit. So. Uh, Next question. Well, Jordan3434 is chiming in again. Hey, can you give a quick fuck you to all the asshole guys out there that feel the need to piss all over public toilet seats? Nothing more irritating when you need to take a shit and walk into a stall to find piss all over the toilet seat. Then you try the next stall and it's even worse. And there's still shit in the toilet with toilet paper thrown everywhere. Uh, I'm actually not going to say 
Um, fuck you to all those guys who do that because I'm one of those guys that does that. Uh, I'm a horrible aim and, you know, let me tell you something. After you turn about 37, 38 years old, you just don't give a fuck anymore about getting it all in the toilet. You just need to get it out. I don't even care anymore. So deal with it. Okay, let's see. Let's get one more question. Uh, okay, let's, this is a stupid question to end the video on. Uh, from Go D. Uh, what's up, nigga? How many toys have you blowed up? I ain't gonna lie. Just happened to me for the first time damn near ever at Walmart three days ago. Very, very embarrassing. Wasn't my fault. I left the stall, washed my hand, and I fucking lowered my head. Shame. Very, very shameful. Wasn't my fault, though, guys. But then again, I mean, how many times do you need to wipe your ass? I don't know. I, for me, I, I guess it was about 18 to 25 times. Catch up with you on the next Tuesday Q&A. Have a good day, guys. Peace out.